there are always new discoveries being made in the field of astronomy. From new planets, technology and other incredible breakthroughs, each one has the potential to change our understanding of the universe as we know it. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries. Mysterious Ring Structure Around Supernova 1987A For over three decades, the supernova 1987A has fascinated astronomers. The light from the supernova, which lives in a dwarf satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, called the Large Magellanic Cloud, reached scientists in 1987. And since it was the first supernova discovered that year, it was given the apt name Supernova 1987A. The supernova has an incredible history, and the first supernova that astronomers have been able to study in depth. It has its own special place in history. The astronomers have also used their observations of the supernova to learn a significant amount about core collapse supernovae. In a NASA Hubble Space Telescope image, three mysterious rings of gas can be seen around supernovae 1987A. The image came from the Wide Field Planetary Camera 2 in February 1994. These rings have remained a mystery for many years. The three rings are assumed to be in different planes, with the smallest ring lying in a plane that contains the supernova and the other two lying in front and behind it. Astronomers were expecting to see a bubble of gas in the shape of an hourglass being blown into space by the supernova's progenitor star, so the rings were an interesting surprise. However, it's possible that a high-energy radiation beam may have painted the two rings on an invisible hourglass. As for what the source of the high-energy radiation beam is, it could be a stellar remnant that was a binary companion to the original star that exploded all the way back in 1987. It's always exciting to completely solve a long-standing mystery, and while astronomers may not have gotten to the point yet when it comes to these rings, a breakthrough might be just around the corner. We'll just have to wait and see. Hubble discovers 67 gravitationally lensed galaxies in the distant universe. The NASA Hubble Space Telescope has again played a hand in a new astronomical discovery, as astronomers have used its data to compile a catalogue of gravitational lenses in a distant universe. The record contains 67 of these images found around these massive galaxies that are elliptical and lenticular shaped. This sample shows how diverse these gravitational lenses can be. Incredibly, if the sample is representative of the whole, there might be close to one million gravitational lenses in the sky. The observations are part of a large project called the COSMOS project, whose main purpose is to survey a 1.6 square field of the sky with both space-based and Earth-based observations of the area. The area also happens to be nine times the area of the Moon, so it's no easy feat. The lensing created by the massive galaxies is generally more common than the gigantic arc gravitationally lensed galaxies observed by the Hubble, but they are more difficult to detect over smaller areas. This gravitational lensing happens when light that travels towards us is magnified and distorted once it moves past a massive object between the galaxy and Earth. What makes these gravitational lenses significant is that they allow astronomers to look earlier into the universe than they usually are able to. These gravitational lenses are usually created by large clusters of giant galaxies. According to Jean-Paul Nieb, we typically see the gravitational lens create a series of bright arcs or spots around a galaxy cluster. What we are observing here is a similar effect but on a much smaller scale, happening only around a single but very massive galaxy. Some of the lenses of the 67 gravitational lenses observed by the COSMOS survey show distorted light of one or two galaxies in the background. Of these lenses, at least four of them cause the Einstein rings, a circular image of a background galaxy. The image is formed when the background galaxy, foreground galaxy and the Hubble Space Telescope are all perfectly aligned. Astronomers went through a complicated process in order to identify these lenses. According to Cecile Faure, 
We then had to look through each individual cosmos image by eye and identify any potential strong gravitational lenses. They then had to check to ensure that the foreground and lensed galaxies were actually different galaxies rather than a single galaxy with a strange shape. What the Cosmos study shows is that there are many gravitational lensing systems in the universe. There may be half a million lenses in total. Once astronomers are able to find more of the smaller, stronger lenses, they may be able to track galaxy masses in the universe using a census and be able to predict cosmological models. The future of the study of gravitational lenses is incredibly exciting and a breakthrough has never been closer in reach. Hacker proves it doesn't take much to hack into satellites. As it turns out, it's surprisingly easy to hack a satellite. That is what hacker Carl Kosher and his friends demonstrated on the weekend at an annual DEF CON hacker meetup in Las Vegas when the group used a software called HackRF to hack Canada's defunct satellite, ANIC F1R. The satellite was retired in 2020 after 15 years of service, where its purpose was as a telecommunications satellite in geostationary orbit more than 22,000 miles above Earth. While the satellite was in an end-of-life status, the plan was to move it to graveyard orbit in November 2021. During that time, the group obtained a license to use the satellite's transponder lease and an uplink facility. This was all obtained legally. Discussing the hack, Kosher stated, What do you do with a satellite? What does a hacker do with a satellite? We had an opportunity to use a satellite that was being decommissioned. We also had the ability to put our own content on there. The content in question happened to be talks from a hacking conference from that year, as well as some fan-favorite films. They were even able to take calls from people wanting to be broadcast widely. According to Kosher, satellites reflect the signals that are pointed in their direction, and he claims that there is not even any authentication needed. He said, if you're loud enough and there is another user on that transponder, you have to shout louder than them. But if there's no one there, the satellite will just repeat it. While one would need a stronger signal than any others to broadcast to a satellite, retired ones are much easier for anyone to hack. While in some ways this is somewhat alarming, it's fascinating what a regular person is capable of. We can only hope people will use this power for good. We're in an exciting era of science and astronomy when we can answer questions about our universe that have puzzled scientists for centuries. These latest discoveries are just the beginning, because as we continue to explore space, we can expect more extraordinary discoveries and technological advances. With each new mission, we come one step closer to understanding the mysteries of the universe. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.